Good morning, everyone, and welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. Before we just click the record button here, we were practicing the clap again, and so we might have a little grin on our face here. Um, my name's Fred Weaver. My partner, Kevin Kaufman, is behind the camera. We're Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team, and we brought back again Mr. Brian Clemmer here with us today. I encourage you, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, to make sure you go back and watch that. You know what? We were just going to do one video with Brian, but we've got Brian here, and, and this guy's a busy traveling man, so why not just, while we have him here in this chair, get about five more minutes of wisdom out of him because man thank you so much for yesterday's video you're that, most welcome. that was awesome you know what your your most recent book is called the compassionate samurai and for our viewers at home that may sound like a oxymoron, oxymoron a competing <laughs> there's a competing commitment right there in the book if I can say it that way do you mind sharing with them the compassionate sure. samurai and I'll relate that back to real estate or you can do that as well because that is huge right I now. was flying to Australia recently and somebody said what do you do and I said I disciple people uh, into being compassionate samurai I said oh what do you kill them quick and I said no so we're not drawing from the violent side of the samurai the samurai are very famous warriors a thousand years ago that were ethical if they made a promise, they would die rather than break the promise. If you can imagine someone that made a promise to you or a salesperson that made a promise to you and they either delivered or, you know, or they promised to remodel your kitchen and they came in under budget on time. Or, so the part of the samurai that we're using are get it done no matter what the circumstance, result producing machines that are ethical. And then combining that with compassion, people whose whole life it's about contribution or service, about giving to other people. The word samurai actually comes from a Latin word to serve. So, because unfortunately, uh, most people in the world are one way or the other, but not both. Uh, you, you, you find people uh, that are result producing machines, but many times they're unethical. They take shortcuts. They take advantage of people that are ignorant, and maybe don't know about short sales if we're doing that industry or every other inter politics. I mean, take a look at today what's happening. I don't want to pick on any particular party because it's all over the place, but they're trying to develop a healthcare thing, but then the healthcare thing is for the rest of the world. It's not for the politicians in Congress themselves. They don't live under the same system. Or uh, they, you, you see all the scandals that are happening that where people uh, put money in their own pocket unethically. Now, people go the other way and they care about people. They'll pray for you. But if you ask them for a $5,000 check to help people in Haiti or Chile with the earthquake, they can't do it. Uh, so they care, but they're not the risk. So this is combining the result producing side and the service side. And I think this is very important as you're into short sales and the real estate business. People are hurting out there. If they're coming to you, particularly with this product, their lives are in turmoil, which means their marriages, if they're married, are probably in turmoil, puts a lot of stress on it. And it's... Uh, yes, it's money in your pocket and you deserve to receive, but you also need to keep foremost in your mind that you're there to serve. That's awesome. I, you know, I don't have this, the stats on this or where I got this from, but I did. I heard one time, actually in the last six or 12 months, that 50% of people that are in a short sale situation or actually lose their home to foreclosure end up in divorce as well. I, it's, just, it's a, it's a yeah. troubling stat and you know Kevin and I go around the country and we teach other agents we teach them locally in the Phoenix area how to do short sales we do this blog and you'll hear us say over and over guys you're dealing with somebody that is in a very fragile state they are literally putting their life in your hands saying help us so there's a balance between not becoming the, the person that is their savior because that doesn't empower them and serve them anyway but at the same time you've got to be a rock and a foundation for them, somebody that they can come to and trust and put their trust in. So, you know what? It's real easy to see short sales right now as a business where you can just get rich or just make money, but it truly is about caring for people. And your business will grow when you care about others. A lot of people ask Kevin and I, well, where'd you get all this business? And sure, we've got great marketing strategies and we do lots of cool things and we've developed stuff over the years, but you know how we closed 60 short sale transactions the first year in real estate? We didn't spend a dime on marketing. We helped a couple people out and one of those couple people do they said hey you need help mr. Yeah. friend co-worker go work with Kevin and Fred they know what they're doing and they'll take care of you and it just grew from there so I'm certainly not saying don't put business strategies into your business to create more lead generation activities and give yourself more leads but at the end of the day if you're really interested in helping people people can sense that about you they know that you care about them and you're gonna get the job done and that, that's what I get when I, when I hear you say a compassionate samurai and if you're running into obstacles as you're doing short sales get excited <laughs> that may sound sick wow. but 
I but didn't cue him here, in to say that. I, why? Here's, here's why you want to get excited. Because that's your opportunity to make muscles by overcoming the resistance. Yeah. And the, the why this is so necessary, Compassionate Samurai, by the way, they can go to our website, clemmer.com. Uh, if they're looking for the book or Barnes and Noble in the bookstores. We'll actually but link it right here at the bottom of this video marvelous. so you can go right to it. My feeling is the world's going to get worse, not better. Uh, I was in a group of CEOs the other day and they were, an economist was asking, they're pretty much mostly cautiously optimistic and I gave a more pessimistic view and I'm known as Mr. Optimism usually. But there, I'm, I just came from Detroit. While I was in Detroit, somebody gave me a statistic that 20% of the high school students graduate. 20%, that's one out of five in a major city. You cannot throw that into, into the economy without messing things up. I was in a, in a mall, a strip mall in uh, the Sacramento, California area where there were only two stores. And this is a modern mall. The mall couldn't have been more than five years old. Only two stores were occupied out of the whole mall. So as, as I look at different things, it very well could be the world's going to get worse, which means you got to get stronger. That's the, the this and you got to care more because people are getting more and more cynical, and we need strong people to care for other people. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to say wow. Uh, thank you very much. That was great. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? I mean, that's kind of an open-ended question to you. I Stick with these guys. You know, <laughs> I always look for I always look for a couple things. One of them is character. Even. But, uh, if the person doesn't have character, I don't want to deal with them. I'm talking about being honest, thinking of other people, uh, abundance. But the second thing is competency. You want both those things. If you only have one, you, you get out. Of, you can get yourself into trouble. And these guys got both. They're competent and they have character, so stick with them. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we've said it before, actually, on Short Cell Power. We talked about it today in our class that we taught um, in California. Clemmer.com has some amazing training events. You can actually check out one of their events called the Champions Online. I invite you to go check that out. You guys do not only uh, events and workshops in the country, but you're all over the world now. We do you guys work are in, in Australia. Where, where else are you at? Well, we did work in nine countries last year. Wow. So, and then we have specialty products. I was projects. I was in uh, Syria recently. I was in uh, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. So, uh, but we have we're doing work in nine major countries right now. If you're ready to take your life on at a whole other level, yeah, I, like that. I invite you to check yes. out Clemmer.com. So, hey, with that being said, let's wrap it up today. Again, on three. One, two, three. Short, Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Yeah. Russian.